I'm Thomas, and these are the top five most frequently asked questions about Neptune Systems Apex. What does a Neptune Apex do? Oh boy, well, it does a lot, like a lot. Like I can't even just answer that. Apex can monitor your aquarium's parameters, control just about every piece of equipment on the tank, it can detect leaks, send you notifications to your smartphone if something's wrong, giving your aquarium a heartbeat that can help prevent the loss of your precious pets in an emergency situation. And that is just barely scratching the surface. I think one of the best ways to look at Apex is it is a tool that you can use to turn your reef aquarium into a smart reef aquarium so that all of your reefing gear is able to work together in a way that makes it easier to keep your reef running smoothly while also providing redundancies so that your reef can automatically react to a variety of unexpected changes that might otherwise be harmful. Plus, you can make some pretty sophisticated rules that can change how multiple pieces of equipment will react to not only one another, but even a series of changes in parameters in your tank, which is super impressive and can be incredibly useful. In short, Apex makes reefing both easier and more hands-free while also making it safer and less risky for the inhabitants in your tank by automating all sorts of tasks you'd otherwise have to do by hand on a regular basis and also reacting on your behalf if something's going wrong. Plus, you can stay in touch with your tank no matter where you are on a smart device. How does the Neptune Apex system work? The Apex has two main components the base unit, which is basically the brains of the operation, and the EB832 energy bar, which is essentially a sophisticated set of smart outlets along with some extra ports for power and connectivity for other Neptune Systems devices. The base unit allows you to connect various probes to monitor parameters like pH, temperature, ORP, and salinity, and also has the ability to control devices that use 0 to 10 volt connections. Using the Fusion app on your smart device or in a web browser, you can access your Apex and set up all kinds of tasks and functions to control all of your reefing gear while monitoring your tank's parameters. For example, you can click on the Tasks clipboard icon, then select Heater from the list, and you'll get prompts that walk you through the process of setting up the outlet of your choice as a heater controller, setting the minimum and maximum temperatures for your reef. Now that's it in a very simplified nutshell and you can get way more advanced than that and set up some really cool custom functionality, but you don't have to. And there's a lot of preset stuff in there for you already, plus tasks that make setting anything else up super easy. But if you do want to get some of that custom functionality without any actual effort of creating it yourself, I'm going to give you an awesome resource in just a bit. Is Neptune Apex worth the money? To some degree, that question definitely comes down to personal opinion. However, I'm gonna say for a lot of reefers out there, absolutely. Not every reefer is going to want to dive into an aquarium controller. And I'll admit that before this past year, I was one of those reefers who just didn't mind doing everything manually and any automated gear that I did have was a standalone digital device like a doser or a heater controller. But, now that I have been using an Apex for probably a little over a year, I think I'd be hard pressed to go back to reefing without one. The thing is, it's not just the convenience and automation of regular reefing tasks that's won me over, but more than anything, it's the redundancies and built-in safety nets that having an Apex provides. So if anything goes wrong with my tank, I get notified right away, no matter where I am, which has already saved my reef tank two times in the one year that I've had it. Both of those times I had a power outage and I wasn't home at the time, but I got a push notification to my phone that my Apex went offline and I was able to rush home to get my generator going. Otherwise, my reef tank could have been without power for the entire day. And that's just one example. You can get notified for all sorts of things, like if your pump gets jammed or if your temp or your pH or your alkalinity spikes. Knowing the moment that these problems pop up gives you invaluable time to address it before your fish and corals are on the brink. Of the 50 plus tanks at BRS, more than 90% of them are running an Apex for that safety net alone. So yeah, I would say it's definitely worth it. All the other functionality aside as well. So you get even more than that. It's not just the safety net, but the safety net is a huge component. I mean, had I lost, you know, in either of those power edges, my livestock, Oh, I can't tell you. I could have probably bought the Apex two, three times. So yeah, it's worth it. Plus, I would have cried so many tears and you can't, you can't put a price on those. 
How do I set up my Neptune Apex? Getting your Apex set up is really easy. Connect the Apex control base unit to the EB832 energy bar using the included Aquabus cable. Plug the EB832 into an outlet in your home, then download the Fusion app on your Android or iOS device, create an account, and the app will walk you through the process step by step. All in, it'll take about 10 minutes and all of the outlets on the EB832 are already pre-programmed for you for all of the most common reefing gear, so you don't really have too much to worry about. If you'd like to add any extra equipment like a dose or a trident, you can do that using the tasks function and you'll get walked through it step-by-step step as well. It's pretty dang easy. What can Apex control? It's another one of those open-ended questions. The list of gear that an Apex can control is really, really long. Uh, you can control virtually anything with your Apex. So instead, let's look at the different ways that you can control your reefing gear using an Apex. Now, obviously, any of the Neptune Systems gear like the Sky, the Dose, the Wave, the Trident, or the ATK, just to name a few, have advanced control through Fusion when you hook them up to your Apex using an Aquabus or a one-link cable. The Apex also has 0 to 10 volt control ports that allow ramping or dimming control for things like flow pumps, LED lighting, and even T5 lighting. Using that 0 to 10 volt, you can create a dynamic schedule rather than just simple on and off. Apex also has Wi-Fi control using IOTA or Internet of Things for aquariums that allows other brands of gear to work wirelessly with Apex. A great example of this is Kessel's LED lights. Instead of using the Kessel app, you can set up your lighting schedule through the Fusion app and keep it all in one place. And for the majority of your reefing gear, whether it's a protein skimmer, dosing pump, or heating system, basically anything with a standard plug, when you plug it into your Apex's Energy Bar 832, you're able to control it with simple on-off functionality. Now, there are some pretty impressive things you can do even with simple on-off control. For example, you can set up a dosing schedule for a simple doser, and then also have your skimmer automatically turn off whenever your doser is delivering amino acids to the tank. And like I touched on earlier, Apex can also monitor a wide variety of parameters like pH, ORP, salinity, temperature, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, PAR, flow rates, and even atmospheric CO2, and can actually control equipment based on the results of those parameters, making that basic on-off functionality a lot more dynamic. And the best way to take full advantage of your Apex is to create your own or even just borrow some of the most popular custom functions for all of the gear that you have plugged into your EB832. Speaking of which, Randy already has all of that awesome information out there for you in this playlist on how to master your Apex and basically just get the most out of it. You don't need to have tons of experience with Apex or Fusion. You can basically be brand new, have just set it up, and you can use that as a tool to get all of that crazy awesome functionality built into your Apex without having to sit there and code it yourself. It's basically copy paste. So yeah, this is a must for anybody who's getting an Apex. Check it out.